In the bustling city of Lahore, Pakistan, a series of disappearances in the late 1990s triggered one of the most horrifying investigations in the country's history. Javed Ippel, a man who would later confess to the unthinkable, the abuse and murder of 100 young boys, cast a long shadow of terror and sorrow that still lingers. This exploration seeks to understand the depth of Ippel's crimes, the pursuit for justice, and the indelible mark left on a community betrayed by one of its own. Javed Ippel, born in 1961, lived the life that on the surface showed little indication of the darkness that lay beneath. His confession in 1999 unveiled a monstrous spree of sexual abuse and murder, targeting vulnerable boys across Lahore. The method of his madness, strangulation followed by dismemberment, with the remains dissolved in acid, was a methodical effort to erase any trace of his victims. Ippel's reign of terror predominantly took place in the bustling streets of Lahore, where he preyed upon the innocence of boys aged 6 to 16. Many of his victims were runaways or orphans, children whose society had largely overlooked, making them easy targets for his heinous acts. Ippel's gruesome method of disposing of bodies was not just a tactic to avoid detection, it was a cruel statement of his perceived superiority over the law and the value of human life. The breakthrough in the case came when Iqbal, in a macabre bid for recognition, sent a letter to police confessing to his crimes. This letter, a detailed account of his murders, was initially met with skepticism. However, the horrifying truth began to unravel as investigators, following the clues left by Ippel, discovered evidence of his atrocities, including photographs of his victims and the acid-filled drums used to dissolve their remains. The public and media reaction to Iqbal's confession was one of shock and disbelief. The fact that such crimes could go undetected for so long raised alarming questions about social and systemic failures. Communities across Pakistan were forced to confront the uncomfortable reality of child vulnerability and the existence of evil in plain sight. Ippel's capture and subsequent trial were a focal point of national and international attention. Despite confessing, Ippel later recanted, adding layers of complexity to an already convoluted legal process. The court, however, found overwhelming evidence against him, leading to a conviction that would never see its full execution. Javed Ippel's story took its final turn while he awaited execution, found dead in his cell under circumstances that suggested suicide. Though speculation and controversy remain, the end of Iqbal's life did not bring closure. Instead, it left a legacy of pain for the families of the victims and a society grappling with the aftermath of his cruel acts. The case of Javed Iqbal is a chilling reminder of the darkness that can reside in the human heart and the imperative need for society to protect its most vulnerable. As we reflect on the tragic loss and the echoes of the lost, we are reminded of the resilience of the human spirit and the relentless pursuit of justice in the face of unimaginable evil. If this in-depth exploration into the shadows of Lahore has moved you, please like, share, and subscribe for more content that delves into the critical and often challenging aspects of our world.